Uh, Griffin Johnson, he announced that he's going to take a break from dating after Dixie Emilio spit. Uh, that'll, split. Split. That'll fucking last a day. It's like, I, I feel like it's been two months. He hasn't, he hasn't I mean, talked. Yeah, what? like you don't have to date. You can just fuck. But it's like. No, he means he, even fuck. Oh, oh, he's taking a date from. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, a break. He's taking everything. a break. Yeah, he's going yeah. on the injured reserve list. He's chilling out for a little bit. And basically what we heard is Griffin Johnson, one of the biggest TikTok personalities, um, what happened was uh, he said, I'm taking a complete break. He said, I'm chilling. I haven't I haven't even hardly talked to a girl or had a girl on a date or to hang out in at least a month or two. I'm completely out of that market at this moment. Everyone reacts to things and gets over things differently. For me, after that, I was crushed. This sounds like an alcoholic that like still drinks like twice a week. Like yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's, like, it's like yeah, I like have barely talked to any girls in like a month or two. Yeah, it's like you know like you're asking yeah, like, you're yeah. asking someone like how long they've been sober for, and that maybe like a month or t- sometimes. <laughs> you on, like, you think month. he's bullshitting? Of course. Yeah. Like literally, of course. Yeah, I, I, I have to call cap he's on this. bullshitting. I mean, everyone reacts to things and gets over things differently. For me, after that, I was crushed. I haven't even hardly talked to a girl or had a girl on a date or hang out okay, with. Okay, maybe. Because like everyone knows you as a cheater, so why would you even Okay, try there's a million that. girls that would still go for Yeah, but of course. It's but like, like I, I, I do get what he's saying, though. If he was actually invested in that relationship, then it is like hard to like talk to other people. Because think about it. like You go to a girl like, hi, I'm Griffin Johnson. She thinks of Griffin Johnson. She thinks of that news. She Topic. She'll still, she'll still, maybe. It depends if on the girl. She's, she's a some, perfect dime. She's probably not. Bro. bro. Dude, the, yeah. dude, the bro. amount of girls in these guys' DMs is probably ungodly. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. And, like, they could literally give. I'm saying this is a maybe. Of course, I think he's capping, though. Yeah. You think he's still, like, hooking up with girls? Yeah. What? Why? I mean, I don't know, dude. I you literally know. are known for two him picks. If he wasn't. Why would you? Tw- I mean, why would you tweet that if it wasn't true? I mean, I guess there's a lot of reasons for him to tweet it. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> it, a, it, it was an interview that. with People Magazine, so that's where he oh. actually broke it down. First of all, we're that People Magazine. Does People shit, Magazine really care that much? They don't. They just know it'll pull in numbers. That's and insane. Now yeah. we're talking about it, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. But so he continues to say, it's hard for me because I get it every single day. And some days it's obviously worse. He added, referring to the near constant criticism he receives on social media due to the scandal's aftermath. Basically, all the jokes we made about him asking for two picks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's his fucking fault, man. He got caught slacking. I, d- I don't think that he was being serious. Like, like I think that, like, you know, like, if you're, like, messing around, like, when, like, your friend. Like, I don't know. It's a good thing to say. I mean, like, if, if he wants to, like, you know, take this blemish off of his image, then, like, that's the route to go, right? Be like, you know, I, like, why it doesn't make sense for him to have cheated if it's so hard for him to get over her because so then if he cheats and he immediately starts dating somebody that it's like oh he definitely cheated. yeah exactly. he didn't give a fuck yeah but now that he's yeah. like taking a break he's not piping he's hanging out yeah. now it's like oh he's actually trying to like calm no, himself once you cheat once you could cheat again this sounds like a manager like a manager type this out for yeah you. you know what i mean they're like oh we're gonna get griffin off the <laughs> out of the hot seat today yeah yeah write this yeah. down yeah. Well, continuing my comment section, interviews paparazzi when I'm walking out in public. It's still, to this day, it's been so many months. I, I get it. I get it. It's just like, I don't know. Like, you're known to be a cheater. You're going to get hate. You Most people would turn this into a bigger and positive thing. How do you promote a show you're going to do? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I think it's definitely, like, made him, it put him in the public image more, that whole, like, cheating scandal thing. So, like, in a way, like, I don't know. It elevated his platform, right? And that's you can't uh, can't argue that. I, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like dating the Demilios. I feel like there's cheating stuff that comes out when the guys don't actually cheat, and then the guys just get absolutely fucked on for it. It's happened twice. Do you think guys, if you dated Demilio, you're gonna get fucked over? I she's mean, she's too famous. You got too many fans. Regardless, unless you end up marrying her, like you know what I mean. Like either you, way, like, the breakup yeah. is your fault. Yeah. Yeah, oh, every yeah. time, like every time, because Lil Huddy didn't even, Lil Huddy didn't even cheat on Charlie. Lil Huddy kissed Nessa, right? No, but after I, it was break, after. Yeah, yeah. they were they were uh, they were, they were broken up. Yeah. Oh, so you gotta act like an angel after you break up with her. You can't do anything. Yeah, no, you yeah, basically, you I mean, like you're basically wait, like he's saying, like you're pretty much screwed you no matter what. Right. <laughs> like, so choosing to be in a relationship with a Demilio is knowing that afterwards you can't date someone for like two months after. Like that's the implication. But you get views. Uh, you get views though. No, is it worth? I literally it? think you have to go full cell. <laughs> like you have to believe it's <laughs> <laughs> You got to become a priest. No, yeah. no fucking anyone. What it's you're basically, basically turning into like a priest. <laughs> he can't like hook up with anyone. Like that's the rule, right? No, yeah. yeah he, I mean, shit. What man. do you do if someone you got caught cheating on your girlfriend, asking for toe pics, um, <laughs> and what do you, what do you do, Ethan? Like if, if it's a if it's like a Demilio, it's like the Demilio, and you were in the, his exact situation, exact same amount of followers. What do you do? 
It's a pretty embarrassing thing to get called. You know, for. I mean, I think okay, I don't know much about being in that position, right? So it's like you have all these girls in your DMs. Like, how many are you replying to? Are you sending out DMs? Like, what? How? What's it like being in that position? I don't know, but I would, I would, in terms of like the social media side of things, I would definitely just try and like leverage that as like my come up. Like, I mean, that's, I mean, like that's the best thing that you could do. Would you make cheater merch? <laughs> No, not that blatant, but like, I mean, you have to ask yourself, like, what's the difference between interacting with fans and then like interacting exactly. with fans, right? It's like, because like if they're like our fans that we interact with are like predominantly like, you know, like teenage dudes. So it's like easy to like interact with, right? Like it's yeah. like, you know, it, it's, we know them and there's no, us. there's no like weird, there's no like weird factor of it. But like yeah. if it's predominantly your age girls, <laughs> like what's the. You know what's, what's well. I mean, the it just shows, I mean, like you know, what celebrity in have you heard of in Hollywood? Like even like not influencers, regular celebrities that hasn't gotten in some sort of like cheating scandal, marriage, divorce type thing. Like there's like, a fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. try and name one. Like I mean, it's just like it is so hard to like keep up an actual relationship in the spotlight because of all the pressure and like you know so all the attention saying, would you, that you cheat? receive. Would you cheat? You're saying, no, the pre- you're saying that you're saying you can't name a single person. Are you are you the no. one exception? No, he's saying no. Like, I'm saying I don't know. Like like, like I don't know like the type of pressure. I think so. Here's what I th- I think that the main problem that these relationships suffer is that like like there's so much pressure for them to stay together, right? Because they're they're gaining so much from that relationship. It's hard to like see which parts of the relationship are completely real yeah, and yeah. which parts are fake. Yeah, 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 I mean? yeah, yeah. No, like, I get what you like, mean. Like, like, yeah. And, then and also, people just try and be part of other people's relationships, and it's like you just aren't. Like, yeah, and then right. that just ends up fucking it up in the long run. That's crazy, bro. I mean, we uh, hopefully, you know, I think it'd be cool if one day we have to deal with that with like Chris or Burke is dating <laughs> some like big influencer, and we have to figure out the. Dr- I mean, what do you think would go wrong? I mean, dude, we are so not there. We're so not them in terms of how we act. Yeah. How horrible and weird would be if like one of us was dating somebody who actually was big, big, like a girl. I don't think it would end well. I don't think it would ever work out for us. I think we would end up canceling ourselves <laughs> by when they come over. No, I can't. I, I definitely, if, if it was me, I'd probably be broken up with in like three weeks. Three okay, weeks. If you, okay, if you dated, let's say, Indiana, right? Three weeks? Well, Chris would end Why? up breaking Why his should... phone. Chris would end up like breaking his phone or some shit, and then he like, wouldn't tell the girl, and then like they like, wouldn't talk to him. And then Chris would get his first big check and like buy a dog. <laughs> Here's it. I think that the reason them. why my relationship would be so short with an influencer is because I'm just not the same, you know? Like, like I don't change for anybody, really. So, like, I, I'm pretty obnoxious, I'd say, sometimes. Yeah, you speak what's on your mind. Yeah, I speak what's yeah. on my mind, and I feel like girls definitely yeah, are not defi- about that. <laughs> Especially, like- so now, imagine if it's an influencer girl. Like, I'll speak something on my mind, which I think is completely okay. And you know. Yeah, I read this article the other day about, like, honesty and like the difference between like like lying for a good cause and lying you know yeah. being deceitful like like definitely in any relationship there's like a point where you have to consider like if i am honest about this will this like help them or will it like because you can still have their best interest in mind and like say something that's not necessarily you have to think, completely you have to true. Think a few like what ahead. example like what's you guys have been long-term relationships like what's it what's i mean i i like i'm not like the lying type but it's like no it's neither am i is it like oh do i look good in this then you say well, yeah that, no, that's no, like a super that, low level that's, yeah, that's, I mean, okay. that's like yeah that's like yeah. a perfect example say, of it um said. i don't really have like uh what what does your friend think of me and you're like oh he thinks you're cool sure, but really yeah. he doesn't can't stand her at all yeah yeah that would like never happen, I, I wouldn't though. lie that yeah. again that that's just like a super like stereotypical like oh, okay. this like it it's but, so much deep. there's not really like an example for it like but, you'd have to like but, yeah like i see what you're saying in that situation where like they're like wondering about like your friends or something and like Maybe us and especially different stages of the relationship. You're at different points, obviously. Yeah. Also, I'm just not like an easy person to handle. I feel like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're very high maintenance. Yeah. So yeah, that that's why. Yeah. Well, what kind of girl would you like? It would be best for you then if you're high maintenance. Someone who is as crazy as me or like on my wavelength. Oh my Jesus! God. Or or that or kid, probably that even, kid. Or imagine, probably even more to like tame me down. Imagine a girl, Chris. I don't think I've ever met you guys. Like you guys would push your couches up next to each other for when, for when you guys have sleepovers and shit. We have fucking she, sex. She, uh, yeah. <laughs> we go you would, straight to business. <laughs> you would combine two couches. I'd do. T- I'd fucking do it anywhere. Three couches. Dude, I'd do it anywhere. Public bathroom. Anywhere. I mean, Train. I'm a dog. You're a dog. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> Syphilis included. Every <laughs> the whole night. 
<laughs> Why is Chris like fucking turned on right now? Yo. I'm not turned on. I'm just. Would you ever enter the Mile High Club? That's like what? marking off a bucket list for yeah, every guy okay, already. Yeah. Wait, what? Really? Like Delta what? or American or something like that? What do you mean? Uh, Emirates. Bro. Emirates. Emirates. A fucking Emirates is too easy. A fucking the air balloon. Air, ba- air balloon? Hot air balloon would be oh, nutty. Oh, what about the pilot? I'm capping. You have to have a pilot. I'm capping. I'm capping. I would you just not. see the balloon up you in not, the air no. like. You <laughs> 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 guys like, stop, stop. We're getting off course. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why, why were you capping though? You wouldn't do it on a plane? No, no. An air balloon. Oh. Yeah. But an Emirates flight you would. Yeah, Emirates flight would be the easiest bag ever. Yeah, they got some pretty fatty bathrooms, and and, and, and all you have shower? to do is book the middle four seats, and like it's like a whole bed, like of coach. Yeah, it's true. The, the planes are three, four, and then another three. Or you could uh-huh. fly, or if you fly first class on Emirates, you have your own room. Yeah, that's well, true. that's like a whole different type of money. Yeah. So Chris, we're gonna get that set up for you one day. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, Mile High Club. All right, we. are we gotta yeah, set it. Like yeah, it. when we hit five hundred thousand subscribers, we'll pay for a nice flight. Yeah. Chris will find a great girl who's into him, or and we'll and or yeah, and no, then yeah. we'll pay for, <laughs> or, or that. I'm that's the, that that's too. literally the definition of legendary, though. If you meet the girl on the plane, on the plane, on the plane, <laughs> that that is like another. No, no, type what we do is pay for a plane ticket, and we keep on paying for them. He has yeah. to keep on flying until he finally gets it. No, no, no. You guys send me some codes. It'd be legendary if you took off a virgin and landed not a virgin. How about Virgin Air? <laughs> virgin Air. <laughs> on Virgin Air. All right, so Chris, what are you um, saying? No, we're not putting that in. I'm, no. Okay, Chris, keep on going. So if you find the chick on the plane, you're, or code, you're so, no, code. So, so like you guys are my guys in the, at the desk, right? We're airline employees now? Them, right? So no, you guys are telling me like, oh, she has this hair or she's wearing this, right? And I have to find it. I'm like, dun, 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 dun. I'm just like, you're t- and you have to talk- tell her the code. <laughs> no, what the fuck are you talking about? No oh. code. I'm saying like, you guys are describing her and I have to find her. Oh, and so, then you have to ask her like, hey, do you want to come have sex in the bathroom? And if she says no, and no. it's somebody or, else. Or, no. yeah, or you See, can be right. that is something that Chris, Chris would do. Was, you can't say that to a girl. You can't be like, oh, yeah. yo, come have sex with me in the bathroom. You have to say, what's up? You're gorgeous. Let's go have sex in the bathroom. Yo. <laughs> Low key, heard there's I'm like smoke bad. detectors in the bathroom. Like, let's get a little steamy in there and some shit. <laughs> that's a that's a nice pickup line. No, no, this is the opposite of what we're saying. <laughs> oh, you're saying it's bad. I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> well, think good. about a plane. Cork- you're literally okay. Yeah, that could get really weird though. If you're like trying to pick up the girl and you're like in the seat next to her and she literally can't leave, and then she's like, "You're fucking annoying as shit." <laughs> like, oh yeah, dude, you, <laughs> you, 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 the one thing is you can't try in the first yeah. like hour of the flight yeah. okay because like, yeah. if it goes bad you have to have a good you have it has to be like the last it has to be like 30 minutes before it's time for you to put your seat you gotta on. like ask the flight attendant to turn off the flight wi-fi and like the the onboard oh, tv yeah. so that she gets like super bored yeah right but like i'm guessing if you guys would give me a code she has the code too so she's down what the fuck is up with this code bro <laughs> <laughs> Like, we don't have earpieces. We're not airline know? employees. We can't be there with you. Well, We're just going to hope that you do it. That's just like a dream scenario of the situation. <laughs> dream sc- dr- we somehow you get fucking army, employed. You have randomly. an army of wingmen. Yeah. It's a whole the wingmen. It's yeah, find it's a whole the girl. This plane has a bunch of people on it. But, oh, I, and I we could be like the airline employees. We can change his seat. Oh, so like, yeah, get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get oh. you set up. Yeah. Or, yeah, we just upgrade whatever girl he wants. We just upgrade her to first class. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, the first first class ticket we ever, all, any of us buy is gonna just be for you to f- to fucking an Emirates bathroom. How do well, you feel about that? I mean, I feel like that's great, and that's a tax write off because it's for a video, so it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a great clip we just watched. Well, you know, if you want to see another great clip and you just didn't like the last one, you can try another one right here. Click on a clip right here, or if you want to subscribe and see the full episodes, click right here. Thanks so much for watching. That was a clip from the Sync Podcast.